the Lord says fearful times are coming. We shouldn't get swept up in the spirit of fear all around us. It's not from God. We need to remember and meditate on his promises. And for the next about three minutes, I want you to go into high gear with me. I'm going to just give you a series of verses that talk about not fearing. If you're not a memorizer, here are some good ones to, to memorize, okay? There are about seven of them. The first one's in Genesis 15. You can write them down, and I'm going to read them to you. Because it's just like our Lord to speak to us when we need him the most. His tender fear knots calm the storm in our hearts regardless of the circumstances. Genesis 15:1. he spoke to Abraham, and he said, do not be afraid, Abram, Genesis 15, 1. I am your shield. I am your exceeding great reward. Eleven chapters later, Genesis 26, 24. I'll read that to you. He speaks to Isaac and he says, The Lord appeared to him the same night in Genesis 26, 24 and said, I am the God of your father, Abraham. Do not fear. Why? For I am with you. I will bless you. I will multiply your descendants for my servant Abraham's sake. 20 chapters later, Genesis 46 and verse 3, God spoke to Jacob. And this is what he says to Jacob in Genesis 46, 3. So he said, I am the God of your father. Do not fear to go down to Egypt, for I will make of you a great nation there. God says, don't worry, I'm running this. Here's some more. 2 Chronicles 20. In fact, I love this one. 2 Chronicles 20 and verse 15. The Lord is speaking to uh, King Jehoshaphat. And this is what he says. In 2 Chronicles 20, verse 15, he said, Listen, all of you, Judah, you inhabitants of Jerusalem, and you, King Jehoshaphat, thus says the Lord to you, do not be afraid nor dismayed. You know what that word dismayed means? It means to fall apart. God says, don't fall apart. Don't, don't when you see whatever it is that, that is your nemesis that you are prone to fear, don't focus on that and fall apart. He says, focus on me. And my promises. Meditate on my promises, not your problems. Do not be afraid or dismayed, verse 15 says, because of the great multitude. For the battle is not yours, but God's. Verse 16, tomorrow go down against them. They will surely come by the ascent of Zs, and you'll find them at the end of the brook before the wilderness of Jeriel. You will not need to fight in this battle, verse 17 says. Position yourselves, stand still, and see the salvation of the Lord who is with you, O Judah and Jerusalem. And then he repeats it again. Don't fear or be dismayed, but tomorrow go out against him, for the Lord is with you. Hey, you might not be facing the Moabites, but fear stalks all of us. And God says, don't be afraid. I'm with you. Here's another one, Daniel chapter 10. I love this one. Verse 12 uh, then he said to me, Do not fear, Daniel, for from the first day you set your heart to understand and to humble yourself before your God, your words were heard, and I've come. Verse 19 of Daniel 10, O man, greatly beloved, fear not, peace be to you, be strong, be strong. And so when he spoke to me, I was strengthened and said, Let my Lord speak, for you have strengthened me. Then here's another one. Look in the New Testament, uh, the book of Luke, chapter 1, verse 30. I love having these all marked when fearful times come, whatever shape they take. Look at Luke 1, 30. It says this. Then the angel said to her, this is Mary now, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. You know what that word favor is? Grace. You've been be graced with grace. And all of us could say that this morning if you're saved. I have been begraced with God's grace, so I should not fear. Here's another one. Look at Luke 5.10, just four chapters over. Look what Jesus said to Peter. Luke 5.10, And so also James and John, the sons of Debedee, who were partners, and Jesus said to Simon, Do not be afraid. From now on you'll catch men. The book of Acts, the Lord said to Paul in Acts 27.24, Don't be afraid, Paul. You'll be brought before Caesar, but God has granted to you all those who sail with you. That's when he was in the storm. And the next time we're afraid and fear comes over us and we feel alone and defeated, we need to meditate on these scriptures. And we need to claim by faith the presence of the Lord. Here's another one I, I mentioned earlier. Hebrews 13, 5. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And he said this. Conduct yourselves without covetous. Be content with what things you have. For he has said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. Remember, that's from Joshua 1. 
I will never leave you. And he doesn't change. He said, I was with you, Joshua. I'll never leave you. I'm right by you. I want you to experience my presence. When you feel my presence, you will not fear. And he told him that. And Paul, or the writer of Hebrews, whoever wrote it, said, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And he said, I will never leave you. I will never forsake you. Don't be afraid. I'm with you. Here's a, another one, Isaiah 41.10. These are just my favorite fear verses. Fear not, for I'm with you. You know, that fear not always comes with I'm with you. In fact, that's what I say to my kids, don't you? In the storms at night when they're, when they're not sure, I say, Daddy's here. Oh, it's so sweet. I love to see. Little Elizabeth, something she was troubled about the other night, and she just was all troubled. And I said, but I'm here. She went, oh. You could just see her go, oh. She just relaxed crawled back in that little tiny bed and pulled her little tiny blanket up and felt as secure as if she was in Fort Knox. She forgot Daddy was there. The Lord says, fear not, Isaiah 41.10. I'm with you. Be not dismayed. There's that same. Don't fall apart. I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. And here's the last one, Isaiah 43. And this one you ought to have big bright yellow on, verses 1 through 7. But now, thus says the Lord who created you, he who formed you, fear not, I have redeemed you. I have called you by your name. You are mine. When you pass through the waters, I'll be with you. And through the rivers, they will not overflow you. When you walk through the fire, you'll not be burned. The flame will not scorch you. For I am the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel. I am your Savior. I gave Egypt for your ransom, Ethiopia and Sheba for your place. Since you are precious, verse 4, in my sight, you have been honored, and I have loved you. Verse 5, fear not. And always the the caboose that's always on that. For I am with you. Verse 7, everyone who is called by my name, whom I have created for my glory, I have formed him. Yes, I have made him. That's the promise of our God. He said, you want to make it in fearful times? Have a word-filled life. Let's do that.